Hi all, I welcome you all with a warm heart to Hello English. This is Priya, your TOEFL expert, and I'm here to help you crack your exam with great ease. Today is our first class in your TOEFL course, okay? And let us know what actually the TOEFL stands for and why should students take this exam and what is the eligibility to uh, take this exam, right? So let us first start with and also we're going to look at the test format, okay? So don't worry. So TOEFL, TOEFL, okay, stands for test of English as a foreign language. So what is the full form of TOEFL? That is test of English as a foreign language. Now, why should we take this TOEFL test? Now, if any student or anybody who is aspiring to move abroad and actually to study abroad, then they must take this TOEFL test as an English language proficiency test. Now, as you know that we are all non-native speakers, I hope you know that, right? And we must be uh, uh, capable of understanding what um, the ex professors or anybody is trying to explain because once you move to abroad right and once you take admission in a university now everything will be in English because if you are aspiring to study in America the USA and if not Canada obviously the course curriculum everything will be in English and you must be uh, in such a position that you must understand their language right so for that, this TOEFL is a mandatory test which tests your ability on your spoken English, your written English and also how well you listen and read a text, right? So this TOEFL is also a common and most popular proficiency test. Besides TOEFL, you also have IELTS, I-E-L-T-S, which is pronounced as IELTS and the other test is P-T-E, okay? So what is IELTS? IELTS is International English Language Testing System and PTE is Pearson Test of English. So both these tests, apart from this TOEFL, even you have IELTS and PTE, so you can attempt any one of these to um, show your proficiency in English, right? So these all will test your English language skills. Now, uh, what are the skills that you will be assessed in TOEFL? Let us look at that. So the skills are, the first one is listening. Listening. And the second one is reading. The third one is writing. And the last one is speaking. Unlike any other test, even TOEFL test for all these four skills like listening, reading, writing and speaking. Okay, so what is the score that is given for the TOEFL exam? So usually you will get a score of 120 marks. Okay, so each one carries 30. So if you add up all, that becomes 120. Okay, I hope you got that because 30, 30, 30 and 30 will be combined uh, I mean, if you combine these scores, it will be 120, okay? Now, I hope you've understood uh, what are the scores that you're going to get for the individual skill and what is the total score for the TOEFL. And the TOEFL is also an internet-based test. You will also call this as TOEFL IBT, okay? IBT, okay? So what is TOEFL IBT? That is internet-based test. So TOEFL is an internet based test. That means it's a computer based test, not like your IELTS, which is which also have the manual test, the way you have to write on your own. Uh, newly, you also have, I mean, newly, it's uh, there's one more uh, version that is introduced in IELTS that is computer delivered IELTS, but um, 
two years back or one year back you used to have manual test okay and even PT is computer based test like TOEFL but this is internet based test okay so I hope that's clear for you and let us look at what is the eligibility okay so eligibility is very important uh, to be known right so you must know um, whether you're eligible to this test or not to take this test or not so you must have a valid passport for any of these tests so if you want to attempt any of these tests you must have a valid passport so that is mandatory besides that uh, you must be a high school graduate that means either you should complete your 12th so after your 12th if you want to uh, study uh, or complete your UG program undergraduation even then you can apply for TOEFL right and other than that if you want to do master's program like ms and all you can apply this toyful okay so i hope the eligibility is clear and you must be a pass out or a graduate okay so this is all about the toyful and the eligibility and also i have given you what are the skills that are included in this toyful exam okay so and this is a standardized test so TOEFL is a standardized test and I think this is so popular among countries like um, USA I mean the USA and uh, Canada Australia right so b besides Australia you have other countries as well like Germany and all but I feel that this is uh, more popular in the USA okay so if anybody wants to do a master program in the USA then they can apply for this TOEFL and I think it's mostly uh, it mostly tests you um, uh, your academic knowledge that means your academic English so as you know uh, there will be two types of English your academic English and general English and this TOEFL test will test your academic English okay so you must be ready for it and this course provides you everything about what are these individual skills what are the tasks that are included in each and every skill and I'm going to give you some quick tips and also we're going to practice together to crack the exam and I hope that this TOEFL overview or the introduction to the TOEFL um, is understood by you and we are going to come up with several uh, other videos on these four skills and also the tips and tricks like how to crack these individual skills. I will also cover the test format for this and uh, that's it. So this brings us to the end of the session and I hope you've understood and you've liked the video. Make sure you like the Facebook page of Hello English and um, also download the app so that you will get latest updates and that's it bye take care